Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to migrate from uh, Kotlin X uh, Synthetics to Viewbinding. So uh, I know that uh, many of you have uh, already got used to uh, Kotlin X uh, Synthetics and uh, personally I was enjoying it as well. And uh, we have uh, finally forgot about uh, Find View by ID, which uh, future generations of developers will not even know what that is and they shouldn't. But uh, do you know what else we got used to? Deprecation. Yes, we have uh, also got used to constant deprecations in Android development world and now the time has come for Kotlin X Synthetics to retire. So uh, two weeks ago Android team has announced that uh, Android Kotlin Extensions plugin is retiring and uh, Kotlin X uh, Synthetics along with it. I mean uh, you can still use uh, Kotlin X Synthetics and uh, it will not be completely removed for uh, one more year. So uh, the complete removal of uh, Kotlin X uh, Synthetics or the actual plugin named uh, Android Kotlin Extensions is uh, expecting to happen in uh, September 2021 as I recall. So this plugin named named Android Kotlin extensions is used for Kotlin X synthetics and parcelize annotation. But I'm going to talk about parcelize migration in some of the next videos. For now we're going to only focus on Kotlin X synthetics. Now uh, you shouldn't be sad about it because uh, view binding is also an amazing tool for us developers. And uh, now I'm going to open up uh, Android Studio and I'm going to show you how to easily migrate from uh, Kotlin X synthetics to uh, view binding. Okay, so this is uh, my simple and basic Android Studio project. So here I have uh, one activity and one fragment. And as you can see inside this activity, I'm hosting this uh, nav host fragment. And this is my navigation graph. So I only have one fragment, home fragment. And now I'm going to show you uh, how to basically migrate from uh, Kotlin X Synthetics to view binding uh, for both activity and fragment. So now let's first open up this uh, main activity and let me just uh, open this uh, Gradle build file for a second. So now as you can see we have enabled this uh, Kotlin Android extensions plugin. Uh, as you can see from our main activity for example, we can just get the reference of our views uh, from our layout uh, just by writing here the actual ID. So for example I can write here nav uh, host fragment and I'm going to get this uh, view from my uh, layout file immediately. Okay, and as you can see in our imports, uh, we can see that we are using Kotlin X uh, Synthetics here. And that's the ID of our nav host fragment as you can see. Okay, so that's how we have used uh, Kotlin X uh, Synthetics from our activity. And now from fragments, let me show you as well. So for fragments we have basically created this uh, one uh, view variable and basically we can use that uh, variable view here to get the reference of all our views from our uh, fragment layout. So here I have only one uh, view which is a text view and here I can just basically use this uh, view to get the reference of uh, that uh, fragment text view. Okay and here we are also using this uh, Kotlin X uh, synthetics but uh, as I already mentioned uh, this uh, plugin named uh, Kotlin Android extensions uh, is deprecated and uh, we we should remove that okay so let me just remove that for now and let's uh, sync this project so after we sync the project you will see that uh, in both activity and fragment we're going to receive an error because we uh, no longer use this uh, synthetics anymore okay and basically i'm going to remove that from here okay i'm going to return everything uh, as it was before okay and in our main activity as well so we have this warning and i'm going to remove everything which i wrote uh, inside this main activity and uh, now i'm going to show you how to basically migrate to view binding so first let's open up this uh, gradle build file and here uh, we're going to add a new line of code so uh, here i'm going to add uh, build features okay and inside i'm going to add uh, a view binding to true. So after that you just sync the project and that's uh, all you need to write to actually enable a uh, view binding to your project and now basically uh, new classes will be generated for our layout files. So let's first start with our fragment here okay. So we have a layout here uh, with the name of fragment uh, home and to use our view binding inside our fragment we need to add uh, two variables. So the first variable uh, will be named uh, underscore uh, binding and the type of this variable uh, will be uh, fragment home binding okay so this class was uh, automatically generated by our view binding so we can just use that and i'm going to set its value to null and then i'm going to create uh, another but this time read only variable named uh, binding without underscore and i'm going to just get this uh, value from our binding so get underscore binding and i'm going to add double bang operator here and of course we can make those uh, 
a variable private. So now uh, from our own create view here, I'm going to use uh, underscore binding and I'm going to call this uh, fragment home binding and I'm going to call a method named inflate so I can just remove that and from here I can just pass the actual inflator. Okay, and here I can just return uh, this binding without underscore dot root. Okay, and now as you can see we can remove this uh, question mark from here and we can get the reference of our views by using this uh, binding variable. So binding dot fragment text view, okay, so as you can see it works uh, perfectly fine. And that's how you are going to use uh, this uh, view binding with the fragment. And of course uh, don't forget to add here uh, on destroy. So inside this on destroy we need to uh, basically set our binding underscore binding uh, variable to null. So whenever we destroy our fragment we need to set its uh, value to null so we can avoid the uh, memory leaks. And uh, that's how you use uh, view binding with fragments. And now let's switch back to uh, activity. And uh, here we need to create a new variable. So private uh, late init var binding. And the type of this uh, variable should be activity main binding. So as you can see this class was uh, automatically generated by our view binding. So basically the name starts with activity main as the name of our layout file activity main and then we have this uh, suffix binding after our uh, name of our layout. Okay so just uh, use this class and then before this uh, set content view uh, we need to use our binding and I'm going to call activity main uh, binding so this one dot inflate and here we need to pass a layout inflator and uh, here inside uh, this set content view instead of uh, passing this uh, layout file directly we can just use this uh, binding dot root okay and that's all we need to do so now uh, inside our on create method or inside our activity we can just call this uh, binding and call our views from our layout file so uh, as you can see it's uh, very easy to migrate from uh, Kotlin X uh, synthetics. So you saw two examples of uh, how to use uh, view binding inside activity and inside a fragment as well. And uh, that will be all for this video. So uh, thank you for watching. Please like this video if you find it helpful of course. And uh, see you in the next one.